with his Gus. And I don't know if you saw the patch notes, but man, oh man. I know everybody's going to see it differently, but all I see are nerfs, nerfs, and more nerfs. The first one is the Mystic Flora, which I have equipped, that, perp, that fluorescent purple pink companion. She's amazing. She's probably the only companion I have been using for the last six years in Neverwinter. She's very unique, and I've covered this many times in the past. She was the most com um, aggressive companion in the game. She was the only companion who would attack the enemies before they attacked us, which is very useful in a lot of situations. Um, one of them is for the biggest event in Neverwinter coming up, the Summer Festival. It's huge. She broke those pinatas for us, and you're going to break thousands of upon thousands upon thousands of pinatas if you're going to farm this event. And that's unfortunately not going to work anymore. So it's going to be a huge quality of life. What's the opposite of improvement? Disimprovement? Yeah, rip. Goodbye, Mystic Fora. I, I, it was good knowing you. You've been very helpful. Nice to know you now that you're useless. Thanks for that. Uh, but supposedly there was a bunch of buffs to a bunch of companions, which I've looked at all of them already this morning. Um, I haven't got a chance to te test the healing ones, but the healing ones are pretty much irrelevant unless they make a good one because healers can overheal basically every single thing in the game right now. So the only time you want a healing companion is if you don't have a healer. Um, but the companions aren't doing enough to really replace the healer as of yet. Maybe they'll make a couple buffs. But the first two were the raptors. The feral raptor and the tame velociraptor. So we're going to get in combat and watch what the feral raptor does. And it did increase its damage significantly. As you can see, that was a 409,000 crit combat advantage non-deflect hit there and all these hits are over 100k well that one wasn't because it was a um non-crit but the this might actually do decent damage but i don't think it's competitive <clears throat> yet with other companions because it just hits too slow and this is all for single target these are not made for you know questing and whatnot so we have the feral and we also have the tamed velociraptor which many, many players already have in the game because it's such a good equip bonus. So let's see its damage. Uh, was that 459,000 or 49? F yeah, 459,915. That's not bad at all. It, it looks good, but <clears throat> it's still so slow. So it might be useful. Mm. And then the next one is the Abdar Shield Maiden. I believe she's one of the ones we get when we start out in the game. Let's watch her hits. 126,000, 116,000. Yeah, that was a 70,000 non-crit. <clears throat> but most of the time your companions are going to be critting just about every single time. Because your crit's going to... My crit's really low right now just standing here. It's... um. 61 percent big deal right so the companion is not going to crit a lot of times because their values are based off of our stat values the only buggy one might be crit it appears that they might crit more than we do i could be wrong on that it's so hard to test crit on companions you can test crit severity very easily 170,806. she might be up there um she's not bad at all but uh, the only reason why we care about striking companions and 10-man content is because we don't have 10 support companions yet. Um, when we get there, well, we do have more than 10 support companions, but none, not 10 that are very useful. And when we get to 10, we won't care about companion striking damage because everybody's going to be using a support companion because the buffs, the companions give the team far exceed the value of the damage the companion's doing. Because uh, when you get to end game, you start shifting your focus from how much damage can I do to how much damage can the team do. And generally speaking, the buffs 
so the group's damage exceeds the damage of the companion. Um, this one's actually kind of kind of significant. The tutor is used in basically every group right now. Well, they made his damage um, a single target damage, so he's doing more damage than he was previously. Thank goodness Aragon has all those charts of companion's damage, so we can check his enclosed de damage now and compare it to what it was before the nerf. And it is it is higher, I can tell that already. It's actually pretty good. So that's going to help the group's damage a little bit. And then also the um, skeletal dog. I'm not going to do all three. There's the Darmarian Shepherd, the dog, and the skeletal dog were all buffed. They're all very similar, so I'm just going to do the skeletal dog. 129 crit deflect. Nah. All these slow and knockback effects, big deal. Uh, it doesn't, they don't work on bosses because they're all control immune anyway, so nobody really cares about those. Except there was another nerf, and it was the nerf to the, this one's unfortunate. This was fun. Um, so if you look at the crystal golem, he has this attack that's going to scare you. Because it looks exactly like an enemy's red circle. So that one right there. You think that's a danger zone. But that's his. Well, what was great about that is it can actually knock back enemies. And it could knock back bosses and kill them instantly if it knocked them off of a platform. So it was a fun companion to use. It was hard to build around it because it was you sometimes can't get it to do what you want it to do when you want it to do it. But it was just nice having the option. So that was majorly, that was nerfed. So that companion's trash now. Thanks for that. And then this guy right here, the Staldorf. I'm going to show you something. It's a shame. This one was nerfed too. This companion's complete ass is a summon companion, right? But what he had is, you can see in the top left, I have aggro. Well, the Staldorf had an ability where he stole aggro. So that was the only reason why you'd ever have him summoned. Well, and if you notice, my damage is turned off on the screen, so you only see the companion's damage. I, he's not stealing aggro from me. I could do as much damage as I wanted, and he'd take that aggro. So he's completely useless now. Thanks for that nerf. Uh, another major nerf was if you go to Enhancements and go to Enchants and go to Mythic, if you had the Mystic Ruby and you turned it in for an account wide, it turned into a 1600 item level enchantment. Well, not anymore. They, they nerfed it down to 1500. So if you had all nine of these, you could get a 900 item level boost. Not anymore. So anybody who did that, rip your AD is gone, man. You wasted all that AD for no reason. What a shame. Um, in the patch notes, they mentioned the insignia bonuses. Um, so what it has now, if you notice, this is a four slot. This is the uh, new salamander or new lizard. No, this is the Maltese tiger. And it's a four slot mount. And they've said multiple times, including the recent stream, that in a four slot mount, if you have three insignias that would make a three slot insignia bonus, you can get that bonus. Well, if you notice, I have Regal, Regal, Enlightened. And when you go to Regal, Regal, Enlightened, that's Warlord's Inspiration that increases your companion's outgoing damage by 8%. Well, I have those three in there, and I don't get the insignia bonuses. And they mentioned fixing something with the, um, with the insignia bonuses on the mount. Well, it turns out it, they fixed some visual bug. But they didn't fix this bug. Because, a lot, look, I have two two slots here. I'm not using a four-slot insignia bonus because uh, I want those bonuses, and I can't get them in a four-slot insignia. So I'm losing, you know, potentially 1,200 item level because of this bug. And we paid for these. Most of these were Zen-only mounts, which is unfortunate because you can't get... The only one you could get for free was the uh, Goose, right? But the um, the new Lizard... The red, the red dragon wings, the Maltese tiger, the golden rage drake, they didn't fix it. So I, I it's not a nerve, but it's not a fix. 
they did give an improvement to collections. Very, very few people in the game complete care about unless they're completionists. The Golden Memories artifact was only available at Epic Quality. So if you got the Epic Quality, Epic Quality you could never complete the um, collections for the Uncommon and Common uh, Collections entry. Well, those were fixed, uh, which is nice. Um, it only took uh, what, mod 19? Mod 18. So it's only taken seven mods to fix this. Man, oh man. Well, it got fixed, so can't complain. Another big, huge nerf. And this one's the one I'm surprised a lot of people aren't raging about. This one's a kick to the balls, man. This one is um, this one's a shame. So we got Blast... We got the Blaspheme Assassin. Day one, we got 12 of these. Our group got 12 of these. Because it has a debuff called the Fairy Fire that reduces defense and deflect of an enemy by 1,000. Well, we got it, and we had two people, and we were like, oh, it stacks. And then somebody goes, is that intended? And then we start thinking, wait, this is such a small debuff. Even if you have six of them, it's not that big of a debuff. But So it probably is intended. Because it's not like a drastic 10%. Like if you use the um, Spine Devil 10% debuff and it stacked and you had 10 Spine Devils, that'd be a 100% debuff, right? That would probably not be in intended. But this one's so so small, we're like, it it's got to be intended. And we saw the damage was increasing when there was multiple of these. And we're like, it stacks, it's working, yes! So every group, everybody would be re using 10 support companions with her being the leftover. Everybody who wasn't on like Tutor and Spine Devil and the other ones would be on her because she does some damage, but that debuff is great. Oh, uh, well, and then we started looking. We're like, oh, shit. It's... So we saw her damage going up when we had more of her. So we thought that was because the debuff was making her damage increase. But we, what we found out later that night was is because her bleeds were stacking. And then we said, oh, wait, let's look at the fairy fire debuff. Well, we t And then we're like, it doesn't work at all. So we bought 12 of these. Well, we had two that we bought, but we bought 10 more of them because of this debuff. And it didn't get and it doesn't work. Well, we're like, OK, it's not a big deal because she is doing more damage to make up for that debuff loss. So it's not a lose-lose, right? It's just average. But now they nerfed her damage and they didn't fix her debuff. So we bought 12 of these for no reason. She's completely useless right now in Trials. So she's the most recent cash-only companion in the game that we bought 12 of that has no purpose whatsoever. Um, there's something wrong with that. Uh, shame on them. They could have fixed her debuff first. If they could only fix one, they should have fixed the one that we bought her for. Or Everybody's going to have different opinions on them, but shame on them. We just wasted all of our AD. They'll fix her, hopefully, soon. But in the meantime, she's been useless this whole time. Because we don't care about her damage. We care about how she helps us in phase four and phase six. And her, it, your companions aren't going to do shit in there. You need their debuffs so you can burn those four beholders as fast as possible. Uh, so nerf to... Oh, check this out. So you go to collections and you go to the new um, North Dark and you go to the new weapon set and check this out. These are bind on equip so they drop unbound and players could sell these which is great because the farmers can sell these and the players who don't want to do the trial can get the weapons everybody wins well they nerf these so now they're not going to be bind on equip anymore so all the players have no reason to farm this dungeon anymore well they will while the artifacts are still selling but once people stop buying those artifacts You've basically lost all purpose of doing this dungeon at all. Oh my god. Is that nerf. So they nerfed the Blaspheme Assassin. They nerfed the Crystal Golem. They nerfed the Mystic Flora. They nerfed enchantments. They didn't fix the three slot insignia bonuses on the four slot mounts that we paid Zen for. And they buffed a bunch of useless companions to still say still stay useless. 
<sighs> what a disappointing patch note. There was a lot in those patch notes, but all I see are nerfs, nerfs, nerfs. I don't know what everybody else sees. Stay classy, everyone. See you soon.